I've just noticed that my needle isn't threaded. <sighs> oh, why do all these things just happen when you are about to teach? Oh my goodness. Like for real. And I really can't even <laughs> be bothered to get the needle threader to thread this for me. I'm just gonna go back. Ah, oh, yay! And I've got it. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee and on my channel you'll find lots of sewing techniques, refashioning of old or new clothing and also a segment where I show you what I have designed, pattern drafted and also sewn. So if you're into that sort of thing, consider subscribing and let's get started. So I am going to do a refashion of this top that I'm wearing. Um, it is a little bit oversized for me. And one of the things I do like about this is the detail at the shoulders here. So um, don't like the top. <laughs> Apart from that, that's the, only, that's the only thing I really like about the top. Um, but it's all about refashioning you know old clothing so this is part of the last thrift haul that i did before lockdown in england and um i did mention that i knew what i was going to do with this one the one that i did uh last week was the poncho and that turned out amazing loved it and i've give you, I'll, I'll put a link to that um, in the description if you want to go along and see that video if you haven't seen it already. So what I want to do here is I want to ruch the sleeves because it's three quarter length sleeves and I don't mind three quarter length sleeves but it's, it has to be a very special garment for me to wear some of that three quarter length. So I actually want to ruch it here. So I'm going to show you how to do that with elastic so that the cuff area here, this, um, is above or just around my elbow area and because it is a little bit big around the bust area I'm just going to show you how to this neat little trick to kind of like make the neckline a little bit smaller but it really is all about making sure there isn't too much fullness here um, and that will also aid when I actually put the elastics into the size of the sleeves as well. So I'm gonna see if that's gonna work out. Um, don't necessarily want to take it in at the side, I don't mind that, because I want to have a blues on effect. So I'm gonna show you that, what I'm going to be doing um, with, the, with each one of those areas that I need to focus on in order to make it a little bit more wearable for Colleen Julie. Um, so the things you're going to need, the supplies you're going to need, is going to be some elastic, so I've got some black elastic here, um, scissors for cutting elastic, um, some straight pins and a needle and thread. There's going to be some hand sewing, um, yeah, you can machine it if you wish but I'm going to hand sew mine and now obviously I'll tell you all about that when I am doing the hand sewing. So the next clip I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the top so you can have a better look at the proportions of the top and how it looks on my body shape. Okay now you've got a better view of my top. Like I said I like the shoulders and we are going to be putting elastic down the centre of the sleeves on each sleeve and for the neck because there's a lot of bagginess here because it is too big um, I'm going to make the neck line a little bit smaller. I'll show you this neat little trick to make it smaller. And it's just putting a tuck in like that. And it, it, it's meant to be, well, it's going to be a blues on type style of top. And it'll help to get rid of the fullness that is happening around the armhole area here. So what I'll do is I'll show you how to sew the elastic into the sleeves first and then we can work on making the neckline a little bit smaller and that is cute. I like that. And then it will help with some of this problem here. What I want to avoid is to actually made the armhole smaller to cut it away here 
Um, if I can do that with just this technique of taking in the neckline like so, then yeah, I will definitely opt for that. So let's just work on the on the sleeves first. So I've got my elastic, so we're going to need some elastic. I'm trying to work this out now. So I would um, get the elastic, I stretch the elastic, and I'm going to put it on my shoulder here. And I'm going to walk my fingers down like this, down this side. You can use tape measure for this as well, if you wanted to. Um, I just don't know where mine is at the moment. <laughs> I've got so many. And it's about there. So that's the full length of the sleeve as is. And that is the amount. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit more, about 2.5 centimeters an inch, roughly about there and then I'm going to fold it in half so I'm going to cut along here get my scissors and then cut this in half again like so and then I've got two one for each sleeve so I'll show you how to so that in one tip, I would lightly press a line for you to follow as you sew. Just lightly press a line, hopefully you can see that. And that is a good guideline for when you come to sewing on your elastic. Okay, I've taken my top off. And hopefully you can see the seam that I pressed in there, turn it to the wrong side. I'm going to cut these off because I just hate these. There's hanging loops. Oh. Okay, so we're going to get the sleeve like so. And we're going to position it just a little bit over the seam of the sleeve and shoulder there and put a pin in. And then as you sew, you will be stretching your elastic to come down like that. So we're gonna take that to the machine, like I said, I've got that guideline in which to work with. Elastic is in place with the pin and you're working on the wrong side of the garment and you're going to put the sleeve under the foot like so and put your needle foot down and your needle down remove the pin and then you go into reinforce that stitch I'm just using um, a straight stitch and I've gone for my largest stitch length as well now the trick here is not to sew on the garment at all. Um, so you, you're going to be creating a well um, as you sew because you, you want to check your work that you're not stitching onto any part of the top or the sleeve itself and it can be quite tricky to do it um, but this is the only method that you that happens when you are true refashioning um, clothing. So let me see I've got my seam line that I'm following here I've just realised I need to position my foot and my elastic again. So I'm going to place my needle at my foot. And there's my seam line. Let's place it there. There we go. It's just slightly out of position. 
it happens. Down, needle down. And then you are kind of, you won't be able to see your line that you, um, you have created it's all for you to guide your elastic onto the line that you've that you've actually lightly pressed into your top and you want to pull your elastic at the same time now if you haven't done this before i recommend just use a slow speed go really slowly because you're pulling the elastic and you're kind of working two forces because the machine wants to sew the speed it wants to and you want to make sure you've got control and making sure that you stay on this track that you've created this fold line in your sleeve so I'm going to start off slow first to begin with and just reinforce my stitching I just noticed that my needle isn't threaded <sighs> oh, why do all these things just happen when you are about to teach Oh my goodness, like for real. And I really can't even <laughs> be bothered to get the needle threader to thread this for me. I'm just going to go back. Ah, yay! And I've got it. There's a needle threader here. I'll just put that behind like so and start again. Needle down, reinforce start sewing now I said if you are new to doing this make sure you just stick with the really slow speed so what you're going to do is pull your elastic towards you and place it onto the line that you've created and slow slowly okay And you can you can feel the tension that's happening there but if you go this slow it really will make a difference if this is the first time you're doing it but if you want to put your confidence you can always go a little bit faster so i'm going to do that now not too fast not even now go that fast because you need to create a well with your sleeve like so and make sure it's flat and Pull the elastic again. I'm going to put my needle down first and then pull my elastic. Make sure I'm on that line, hold it in place. Put my hand here, and like so, get that kind of hand position. You want to make sure that you needle you don't sew your fingers and start again. I'm just going to increase the speed just a little bit and then stop. Needle down. Create a well. Okay, and you are done. And you just repeat it to the other side. I've now sewn both leaves. Let's turn it to the right side and have a look. Oh yeah, that's cute. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, that's nice. So I'll now try it on and then we'll focus on the neckline. Okay, I can give you a quick look at the sleeves. It's gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna focus on the neckline. Excuse me for not having my head in the shot. So I said there's a bit of fullness here because it's a, a larger top. And I'm going to make the neckline smaller it's just creating a tuck so you just pinch the center of it and then just play around until it feels make sure you're working in the full length mi mirror that you can see 
how that is going to look. And then put a pin in position. And it could be either way, you could do it that way. So it doesn't matter which way, whichever way you want to go, it's up to you. As you can see. And I am going to hand stitch mine, but you could sew yours. Oh, that looks nice. Let me just put a pin in that. Let me just stretch over and get my pins. And as you can see, it's bringing it in some of the fullness that is around the armhole. And I still got a nice shaping to the neckline. But, and I've kept it kind of running a smooth edge here, but Colleen being Colleen, she has to be a bit different. Yeah, I like that. Yes. So I'm gonna have a little bit just coming, peeking through the top there. I mean, if you wanted to, you could have two. No, that's not very nice, does it? Oh, I don't know, that, that looks nice. Play around. I mean, obviously you don't want to be creating any extra fullness around, if you're having the same issue that I'm having around too much here. Just play around, just, yeah, have fun. So I'm going to go for that because that's what I like. Yes, just peeping through just a bit and then put a pin in place. And like I said, I'm going to hand sew mine. I'm going to use the slip stitch. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's about, yeah. Yeah, I'm liking that, that's nice. That's what I like. So I'm going to hand stitch this using this lip stitch and I'll put a link to that in the description. And But if you wanted to, you could just sew along here perhaps. Um, I would baste first to make sure um, that you're happy with it. But I don't want any stitching to be seen on mine. That's the reason why I'm gonna go for the hand stitching. So I'm doing small slip stitch, some hand sewing, because I don't want any machine sewing to happen. So I'm just gonna go all the way around here and there, and it'll be nicely in place. I'm going to take my pin out now. Can that be okay? and please do share my top sleeves happy neckline yay yeah really happy 